A fantastic new facility is how the Chief Minister Fabian Picardo described the refurbished premises. He said it was exciting for the regiment, particularly with the move of the recruitment office, currently at King's Bastion, which will free up that area of the leisure centre, and the regiment get a new facility they can make more use of. I think having the recruitment office closer to the centre of town will make it more visible, will make it potentially more attractive. This place will be more modern than the current recruitment officer uh, office. Um, and so I'm very much looking forward to that step forward, which Royal Gibraltar Regiment Recruitment is going to take by this move. You know, I'm very supportive of the regiment. I think all political parties and all politicians in Gibraltar are supportive of the regiment. I think that support permeates totally through society at every level. And being able to assist in a small way is something which the government is very pleased for and I'm sure all, everybody will support. The governor told GBC that when he first arrived in Gibraltar, he was shocked at the state of the premises, calling it of a different date. Sir David Steele said he then suggested the club could get a revamp, bringing it into the 21st century. It's not just for the Royal Gibraltar Regiment. What we're trying to do here is for the armed forces community in Gibraltar, which is getting bigger. You know the number of ship visits we have at the moment. And the ships that visit don't have somewhere to come to which they can relate to. They go to the Trafalgar or they go to the, the, the Horseshoe or the Donkey's Flip Flop as it's known in the Navy. And I wanted a club that would bring the armed forces, Navy, Army and Air Force together in the centre of Gibraltar where they could all mingle and come here for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner and be in the heart of the community. Over the years the, the military has been pushed to the side of the community I want the military back in the centre of the community, and this club offers that opportunity. And while we were there, we also spoke to those closely involved with the refurbishment. The hope is that we are transforming this to something completely new. We started a year ago with the plans and ideas how to, to uh, convert this uh, quite dilapidated place to the new uh, home for the recruitment of, uh, for the uh, regiment recruitment office and then to promote it and have parties and, and other arrangements from the RGRA here with conferences or weddings or whatever and on a daily basis they will be using this for their lunches and dinners and so on. It should be the centre of town or the, it is in the centre of town so this is an area which is going to be used much more than it used to be. We're hoping for all the new recruits to come and use the premises. Sir David Steele said the premises will feel modern and fresh, with new kitchen and dining facilities along with the recruitment office. And he added the venue will also be able to be rented out for private functions outside the military community too.